We have some period and closing activities and um, for fixed assets uh, definitely the main one is the depreciation run. So uh, in this lesson we want to show a new Fury app that we have available just for uh, well, uh, first running a test and then an update for the depreciation and especially for people who have a long time using the safe system you will probably find this really interesting because it's very different from the approach in the uh, previous releases in SAP Logon. Uh, actually, we have like a template concept in which we can like copy from a previous execution, maybe modify some values, run it again. So it's really interesting. Bobble, to show this, let's open the periodic activities group of apps. And here we have the manage depreciation runs uh, app. So let's start that one. And well, um, let's just wait for, it, uh, wait for it to finish loading. But actually, now it has finished. Um, here we first, we could search for like existing um, jobs, uh, existing just uh, runs. But uh, right now, this is like a new uh, server, a new company code even. So um, we don't have anything. So to create a new one, we have to click here the plus sign. New. Now, well, as we were saying, now we have this concept of templates. So we have a job template just for the periodic depreciation posting run. And for this actual run, we will just uh, uh, add a, a description here, well, like an additional description, just saying that it will, this will be the test run. So, well, um, we have the uh, parameters first here, especially the start immediately. We want that one just to show the results immediately. And if we scroll down, we have just like the, the accounting parameters to say it in a way. And of course, we have to start with the company code. Now, if you remember, we have the previous year open, the 2020. And actually, we even posted some assets in uh, January. So we will actually run for a uh, year 2020. And we will post uh, for January uh, for this test run. So we will just type January here, like well, zero one. Uh, right now, this we want uh, this to be a test run, so we will just leave this uh, checkbox checked. And um, for the options for the output, we want the detail log. With this, we can just click schedule. And well, we get this uh, this brief message, but actually the app just takes us back. Uh, we will take us uh, take us back. Sorry, to the um, a, uh, initial screen. But now we have a one line. <laughs> and what's also interesting is that right now it's saying in process. But like to update or like to refresh, we just have to come here all the way to the top and click go. And as you can see now, it will say finished. So it was, a, well, the, the run has now finished and we can, um, okay, we can just uh, see a bit more of the log or even the results. Let's, let's have a look at the results, for example. But again, you have to remember, well, that uh, at first this is just a test. So well, we can type, um, we, we can uh, just uh, have the system uh, show that the um, execution was a successful execution. But th so far, these documents, we, they haven't been created yet. So it's just um, um, for our reference. If we double click, we will get the detail. But again, you have to just understand that. But first, this has not been posted yet. But that is the point uh, of the test run, of course, right? First to analyze. And uh, that just means, for example, we have these uh, machines and um, we have um, the posting, which would be the, the precision posting would be 1,250 euros, which if you remember, actually it's a match uh, with what we had in the, um, just in the, um, in the, the asset values app, 
when we check the depreciation for each month for these assets, the, which are the machines. And of course, we have like like multiple times this, like well, uh, one time for machine three and another time for the same machine and one time for machine four and also again, because that is just because, uh, well, we have two depreciation areas that are relevant for this posting. So, well, the test run was successful. Everything that is being shown here is, well, successful and it's correct. So for the time being, we can just uh, actually like close the app. Well, we get back to this uh, main screen, but we can even also uh, quit this app now. And uh, later we will just see what else can we do, assuming that everything was successful. And actually in this scenario, it was. So for example, like run this in update mode and just continue with the processing. But for the time being, uh, we just invite you to keep learning with all these coming lessons. And we thank you all.